Hi everyone, it's Cheryl from the Lifestyle Digs, and today I'm here to talk about uh, the Camino de Santiago, which is in Spain, and uh, the route that I'm going to be walking later this year, the Camino Frances. And the Camino Frances starts in a town in France called, I'm probably going to massacre the name, Saint Jean de Pied de Port. First year French, many, many years ago. When you're talking French words, you just drop off the last uh, letter in the word and go for it. Saint Jean de Pied de Port. Anyway, uh, that's where you start walking. If you're going to do the whole walk on the Camino Frances to Santiago, it's about 800 kilometers or 500 miles. Now, before starting, some people uh, want to get um, what, what's called a credential or credencial in Spanish. And this is a little booklet and uh, you get stamps everywhere that you go on, the, on your journey, on your walking journey. And they could be get from the albergue, which is like a hostel, or it could be from a restaurant, a tourist attraction, a church, whatever. There, there's a lot of establishments that have a, a little stamp and, and that's what you mark in your little credential. Now, I bought mine ahead of time from the Canadian Company of Pilgrims, and it cost me $5. So this, I ordered it in January, early January of 2023, and I got it about a week later. So this is really good. It was really fast turnaround. The organization is just run by volunteers. So like I say, great turnaround, and $5 for the, for the uh, credential. And, uh, you know, a, a good deal, and it, it, it puts more money in to help out this volunteer organization. So that was fine with me. Now, the other thing they said when they sent it was it was going to have my name on it, so I thought my name would be engraved somewhere. But, no, what, what, what they've actually done is it's like a little, a little shipping label, like, you know, your, your Avery address label. And <laughs> they just slap it on there. So my name wasn't actually typed in or done with a computer or anything. They just use uh, return address labels, probably the, the 5130 from Avery. So um, here's, here's what the book looks like in 2023, the Canadian Company of Pilgrims. This is what you would use to get your stamps. And it opens up. It's, it's um, quite a long thing here. Let me just try to open it all up. Can we see it? There we go. So um, when, you, when you walk the Camino de Santiago, you're supposed to get one stamp a day if you're walking the longer distances, like, like where I'm going to be starting in France. And um, then there's a different set of rules if you're going to be walking the, um, the Camino de Santiago closer from a town called Soria, and that's about 100 kilometers. If you start in Soria, you would get uh, two stamps a day. Now, the first thing you can look at from this photo out document is that there's not really a whole lot of places for stamps. Um, on these pages, you can maybe get, and some of these stamps are pretty big. We're not talking little little stamps here. You can maybe only get, you know, four or six a, a day. Let me just try to get a little close up so you can kind of see it here. So when, when you're talking, the, the route probably is going to take me between five and six weeks to walk the 800 kilometers. There's, there's just no way this, this book is going to be filled long, 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 long before I ever get to Santiago. So I also plan to uh, pick up another um, credential somewhere in Spain. And what's on the other side? You would think that maybe both sides would be blank. But no, on the other side of the Canadian uh, Company of Pilgrims uh, for 2023, there's a map of Spain and, and the routes uh, that the very, there's, there's more than one route to walk the Camino de Santiago. You can start in Portugal, you can start in France. I think there's about eight or 10 routes, uh, but, but I, I'm going to be starting it in, in France and in Saint Jean de Pied, the Port, the, the, the town I'm probably going to massacre. Then there's some instructions on what to do with your, your, how, you know, your, your stamps, how many you need a day. So five dollars is it worth it? Uh, you know, is is, is certainly I, I'm going to need another credential because this one's just not big enough. At the same time, I also picked up a uh, a little badge to have on my uh, backpack. Uh, again, another five dollars, but I'm helping out this or, uh, volunteer organization, and this would be kind of cute to have on my back. Canadian flag with a scallop. The scallop is uh, a shell that is is more very commonly used on the Camino de Santiago. It is used as a marker, and a lot of people have the actual shells hanging from their backpack, so I'll be getting one of those. A, a friend of mine uh, who lives near Madrid claims he's going to make a special uh, scallop shell for me for my walk, but 
we'll, we'll see. Anyway, that's Cheryl from Lifestyle Dix. So I'm just here to tell you about 2023, what the uh, Canadian uh, uh, the Canadian Company of Pilgrims has for the credential, the credential in Spanish. Okay, so thank you for listening today. Cheryl from Lifestyle Digs and Buen Camino.